Hey guys, Brick Queen here with the Toy Story 4 RV Vacation set to review for you guys. It is set number 10769. It has 178 pieces and this one cost about $35, which is probably a little bit too high for this set. Um, personally, I, I think uh, it would really be more worth it to uh, wait for this set to go on sale to get it. But it is still a really cute set and I wanted to get it to review for you guys. So here it is. We have the RV over here, of course, and the RV is mostly white. It's got this uh, blue bottom part, and this blue bottom part, this is one big piece. Um, and then you just basically attach the wheels to it. So, I mean, that was a little unexpected, but at the same time, this is considered a junior set. So I guess we should sort of expect that. Um, you can take the whole roof off, which is nice. It's got a little uh, shade, a little yellow shade on the other side of it. It goes on the back side there. Um, a couple of the windows um, open like this, the back and on that other side, which would be good, I guess, since uh, we've got the toilet right here. You can, you know, after one of your figures uses the toilet, they can... Uh, air out the RV from the back. Um, <laughs> so basically we have the driver's seat, we have a sink, and the toilet. That is the whole RV. And then we've got um, a croissant sitting over here and also a little cup. So I mean it's a decent RV. I don't think it's anything super special, but it's decent. I will say that. Um, and it does have this nice printed piece on the front, which might not be focusing good. But uh, just a little license plate there. Oh, we can see it better now. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of cool. And then there's the back end of it. Like I said, the RV is really not anything super special, but it's nice that they include it for the whole vacation. Um, what's cool about this set is we've got three classic figures that are really, really awesome. And uh, they're, they are different from the older versions of themselves, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'll, I'll do another video talking about the differences in those. Um, we also have a brand new character, which I don't know what to say about right now, other than this is Forky. Um, I don't really know much about Forky. Uh, <laughs> we will certainly learn more after the movie comes out. Um, but this is our little Forky character. Um, it's very obvious Lego had to make a completely new mold for this because I've never seen anything like this in Lego. Um, so it's completely unique and my guess would be you'll probably never see it again because I can't imagine Lego using this mold for anything else but maybe another uh, Forky, like they might change the face or something and put it in another set one day. That's about all I can imagine this being used for. But anyway, that is Forky. And by the way, let me show you the bottom too. So that's the bottom part. And the way it connects is just to one stud right there. It's not one of the, the two ones. Don't connect it to two, just one, in case you were curious. And here is Jesse, our cowgirl here. Um, I like this version of Jesse, but I also liked the older one. Um, with these new ones, you don't have the molded head like the old sets did. And I think the original Jesse had long legs like Woody did, uh, but I'm not 100% on that. I think she did though. But it is a nice little hat with her hair, and you can take this bow off if you don't like that. You can totally remove the bow, which I do like being able to take that off. And the hat and hair are attached. That's one piece. She can use that on other figures, which I love that part. And she does have a double-sided face. If my camera wants to uh, focus and actually show that, there we go. So she's got a super grand smiley face and then just a little bit of a smile on her face. And I just kind of put this camera with her. Um, the camera is just kind of randomly put in the set. I don't really know, you know, what character is going to be taking a lot of pictures per se. But, so I, I just have her holding it, because I don't know. And this is kind of the campsite they have here. And we have Forky sitting there, um, randomly. We've got a nice little picnic table, um, also this little wood seat here. 
and that's a printed piece on that by the way so this is kind of a nice little camp set here um, we do have a little cookout going over here um, it is a junior set I think all the Toy Story 4 sets are junior sets so I think that's why we might be lacking in a little bit of uh, I don't know what you call it I, I just feel like there should be a little bit more to this set um, I'm not sure exactly what's missing I just want a little more more of something I don't know what <laughs> but anyway the, the figures are awesome so next up we have um, an alien here holding um, a stick with I, I'm quite sure that's supposed to be a marshmallow although they don't actually have a campfire uh, so I guess he's gonna cook the marshmallow over the grill I guess it's a little strange but I guess that's what's happening uh, but this is our alien in the set and there's the backside there just riding a little skateboard for some odd reason just plain green skateboard and then this is another kind of section of the set that's included we've got a, a tree here with the Grand Basin sign and this I would expect to move up and down but it actually moves side to side so they can just kind of run through it like that instead of it lifting up like usually I would see in movies and stuff so that's what I would expect but not a complaint just something a little different and last but not least we have Rex in this set which was always one of my favorite characters in Toy Story I always thought Rex was just so um, I don't know adorable in a way it's kind of he's just kind of a funny character um, just the way he acts and everything um, you can turn his tail uh, if you want to um, the tail is a separate piece you can actually detach and he actually is a little different than the original Rex and I will do a video on that as well but anyway this is the whole set like I said it's a nice set I think um, if I were gonna recommend it to you I would recommend maybe waiting um, to catch it on sale um, but I do think it's worth getting it's a really great little set um, and at least right now this is the only set that you can get Forky in and uh, of course you don't want to miss out on Forky because I don't know why but <laughs> apparently that's gonna be a big deal maybe I guess I don't know that's just a, a weird little element in there that I don't quite understand but anyway let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Before you go, don't forget to click my picture to subscribe to the channel. And if you already subscribed, you can click the thumbnail to check out more of my videos.